Do I need a vapor retarder with double stud walls in a colder climate, specifically in Minnesota? That's climate zone six and seven. And the building code is going to require a vapor retarder of some sort, even though you're double stud, I mean, your thick wall, your sheeting is still a condensing surface. So what they want to do is control any moisture that has the ability to move through that assembly and come in contact with that cold sheeting. Now, does it need to be a membrane? That's going to probably be dependent on your code official. Some you cannot talk out of not using a membrane. I would not use poly. but we're, I mean, poly is very common in Minnesota. Don't use poly. But if you can talk your uh, building official into using a, uh, a good um, vapor retarder paint uh, and you're willing to make sure, maintain a, a, a consistent humidity during the wintertime of that 30 to 35%, that should be all you need. But again, it comes back to that code official. They, they may not allow you to do that. At that point, you're going to have to use a, I would use like a CertainTeed's membrane, a product yeah. like that. That should work fine. Yeah, so um, he can rest easy in this case that he has he's he has not done anything wrong if he's especially if he's using a you know smart vapor retarder like membrane or Intello um, he's not done anything wrong there and it's in the right place on the interior uh, warm in the winter side of the walls. Mm-hmm.